so I got a microderm abrasion facial yesterday. That's not the important part of the story, but I kind of wanted to set the uh, environment atmosphere in which this story happens. And so when you get a facial, you know, they use things on your face, water, what have you. And so my esthetician was pulling my hair back, right, with a headband so it could be out of the way for my service. And the conversation with her went something like this. I write things down so I get it right because, you know, don't, don't rely on your memory all the time. We have all this technology. Use it. Now I got to figure out where I wrote it. Where I wrote it? Is that right here? Here it is. Child. It's a shame. So the conversation went something like this. This is her. Oh, I love your hair. Did you go somewhere to get it twisted? Did someone twist it for you so it could be like this? And I was like, oh no, ma'am, I did it myself. And she's like, so you twisted it yourself? And I'm and I think in my head briefly, like, how much do I want to explain here? Because my esthetician was of a different ethnicity but I wanted to explain it in simple terms that she could, I guess, understand. Yeah, so the way I explained it was, I said, no ma'am, um, this is uh, my, my hair's natural curl pattern and I just set it using gel. And her response was, oh, okay. Oh, oh, and I told her it's, it's, I'm sorry, let me back up. I told her it's something called a wash and go and how I did it was I just set, this is the way my hair naturally curls, so I just set my natural curl pattern with gel. That's how I explained it. And her response was, you know, oh, well, it's beautiful. And you know, thank you. And I appreciated that she realized that it was important for her to protect my hair from the mist that will come from the facial so my hair wouldn't get wet because at the end she was like, and I didn't mess up your hair at all. So yeah, and she didn't. My hair looked great after laying on the little pillow thing and even putting the headband on, she was very gentle and careful, so I appreciate her for that. But yeah, so you may have heard on Black Girl Curls' is Instagram or Facebook page, they've been more active on their Facebook page now too, that y'all are out here and people are thinking y'all have twist outs and it's wash and goes, and I was like, that's never happened to me. Why would someone think that? Well, guess what? Yesterday it happened to me. It's a real thing that happened, so now I'm in that club too. So that was an interesting experience and um, it made me excited. You know, that was a three day old set yesterday in the, you know, the rain and stuff. But see that? But to someone, it looks like a twist out or not that it necessarily even looks like a twist out. But I guess that's the only rationale that uh, many people could have about how you could get your hair to look like this because they haven't seen many wash and goes with these kinds of results, especially three or four or five or six. Or some of y'all are awesome nine days later. So yay for simple hair care that's producing consistent results that give our styles longevity and are helping us make better use of our time and not having to spending, spend so much time, not just on the actual wash day, <clears throat> doing our hair, that could take a long time, but even just the anxiety and anticipation of putting in all that effort and not really being sure about what the results are going to be. So I'm very happy um, for, I mean, that anxiety, right, that's involved in your mental health, that is less stressful and gives you more confidence because one right you can say oh no i did my hair myself right the haircut that's for my stylist but this part that's me and two that you can do your hair yourself every week and know exactly how it's going to turn out and you could say on what day it should look like this on this day you know my best day is day three or day five and you can know your hair to know okay can i wash it should i wa wash it today will this last two more days could this last one and a half days what do I have to do on Saturday well it's Thursday so should I reset my hair today or tomorrow to get my hair how I want on that day so that's been really fun and interesting so please continue to find enjoyment in your hair journey 
through simplifying your hair care routine, through getting to know your hair um, and her personality, so to speak. I know it's not a living thing. I just personify it in the way I speak about it. And yeah, enjoy it and find the progress and don't uh, focus so much on the shortcomings, right? Y'all know this was irritating me a couple of weeks ago, but I've made peace with it. It's going to come along. It's just going to take a little more time. Apparently, this side is ahead of this side. What am I going to do about it? I mean, one arm's longer than the other, they say. One leg is longer than the other. We don't let that stop us from walking, right? One eye is bigger than the other, like, yeah. So, just look at the big picture, all right? You're beautiful. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.